are from New Horizons 123. We're a small business internet and video marketing solutions company. What I wanted to talk to you today was how you can look like a designer without actually being one. Now, do you remember the old adage that you can't judge a book by its cover? I'm not so sure that that was ever true, but I know for a fact that it's not true anymore. And we know that because of the increasing popularity of sites like Instagram and Pinterest. People are judging our content based on what our images look like, and that's akin to the cover of a book. Now, many of us are not born designers. There are a lot of us that don't have the budget to hire a professional designer to create these images for us. So there are a lot of tools out there on the internet that can help you with that, and the one I want to talk to you about today is called the Logo Creator. It is priced at a point that everybody can afford. It's a $32 one-time fee. And it's easy to use, and it's incredibly functional and valuable. So I'm going to take you through a quick tutorial about how you can create a logo and look like a designer without actually being one. This is the program Logo Creator. This is the base package. I have purchased a couple of upgrade packages. Um, they're only $19.99 each, again, one time, not monthly. So, but you don't actually even need that. And the reason being is that there are a lot of templates in here. And when you're looking at a template, it doesn't mean, well, I have to have this exactly as is, and I'm just going to change the text. You can change everything in here. And we're going to walk through one of them and just show you how we do that. Let's go pick one that we can play with. OK, let's say, um, I'm just gonna, it really doesn't matter. I can grab anything. I'm just going to grab this one. All right, now, here's the, this is the size this, it comes in at. But let's say you want it to be bigger. Well, you click on Format Canvas. And you can adjust the size, the width here, just by going back and forth. And you adjust the height, again, by going back and forth. If you'll notice over here, as I was adjusting the height, this was moving. So it, it's that easy to change the size of it. So if you wanted to, let's say you wanted to do a banner that was 960, then you would make that 960. And you can leave the height as, as it is for now, but you can change it or do anything that you want. So we could act, we'll just do that. Let's do that. OK. Um, OK, leave it at that. Now, if we want to change the background color, look how easy that is. That was, how, how difficult was that? You've got to make sure you're clicking where you want the change to be. And it's telling you that you're on the canvas. So say, you know what, I really want to use something green. So just scroll up here. Look at that. I mean, it's just too easy. It's, it's point and click. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you is that in addition to the images that they give you, and there's a lot in here, up here you can add things. Some of these that you're looking at in here are, like I believe, the people pack elements. That might be part of the upgrade. But there's quite a few um, abstract shapes. I know the ar arrows and stars, the corporate creator pack. That The character creator pack, I believe, is an add-on. Corporate elements is not. I mean, these, are, these come with the original program. And of course, the other thing is that Many of us have other sites that we get images from. For instance, um, I have another site that I got this image from, and I was able to import it right into Logo Creator. So besides having a whole slew of their own images and their own designs, you can import your own, and I'll show you that in a minute. Now, I don't know what this is, so I, I want to get rid of it. I'm going to click on it and hit Delete. Bye-bye. It's gone. So let's say I wanted to add the wallet. I just drag it in. Oops, it's too big. Well, we're on image format, because we, it, we see the yellow highlighting here, and this is also telling you that that's what you're on. And you just make it smaller like that. And how do you move it? You grab it and move it. That is just, it's too easy. It is really made for the average person to, to use, not someone that has high technical skills. So let's say, OK, I don't like that one. Let me get rid of that. Um, I want to use an image that's not in here. So I'm going to go into File. And I'm going to click on Import Ping or JPEG. And I'm going to click on this, just because it's the first thing that came up. That's kind of cute. But again, it's too big. So it's, if you see the yellow highlighting, we know it's already highlighted. Here's the image format. And you just make it smaller. That's it. As far as now the text, I'm going to click on the text. Come on, computer. There we go. I mean, I don't know what just looky is, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say, OK, let's see, it's down here. I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit. There we go. OK. You click on Edit, and we're going to say, cool. 
car. I hit implement and now that text says cool car. Well now I want to move, I never even know it's a taxi, now I want to move the, um, the text I'm just going to drag it. And because it's a taxi I'm just going to go back here and change it to taxi. I'm going to hit implement. Now you say, okay, you know, I really don't want it to be black. No problem. It's still highlighted. Return to the text menu and click color. I think I want it to be red. Nah, I think I want it to be that color or blue. No, blue doesn't show up very nice. Pink. Let's use pink. See how easy it is to change that? There's a lot more in here. You can have gradient colors. You can, um, you know, make it an image, put an image behind it. You could just, there's just too much that you can do with this. It's that easy. So now let's go back and let's, let's, let's do the formatting of the, the uh, canvas. It's 960, the height. If you check over here, the little bar, that tells you the height. See, look, look how tall that is. I'm going to get rid of this. How do you get rid of something? You click delete. Bye-bye. I don't know what that is. I think it's my cursor. So now this is, I want this to be much shorter. So I'm just going to click on the word, on the height over here. And if you notice it's moving, there I go, okay? And I'm saying, you know what, I don't like the color of that text because it looks stupid. So I'm going to go back and put it in, make it white. There we go. I believe this little dot here is from my recording because it's not an image, I'm clicking on it. So anyway, here you go and you have a great image. I mean, it's, not, it's something that took me three seconds to create. Now what can you do with this once you create it? Well. You can come and save it in my templates and give it a name. So I'm going to call this the Test Taxi Man. So when you come back in and you want to make a change, say somebody really liked that image, but they wanted the background in a different color. So you'd come back and you'd be able to find your, I have to again get out of this, move this down a little bit. You'd come under My Templates and this would be listed in My Templates. Now the other thing that you can do is you can save it as a PNG a JPEG file, an SWF file if you have something moving with it. And I, I wanted to show you this part about importing. So I'll, oh, I did that already. Okay. So anyway, I can save it as a, a PNG file and I'm going to come over here and put it in pictures and say this is my logo creator masterpiece. And then if I come over to paint that's one I did for somebody else, and I'm going to go find it. And I'm going to say this is my logo creator masterpiece. There you go. There's my image. Now, you know, you can come, like say, well, I, you know, there's too much green space around here. You can go back to logo creator and get rid of that. What I tend to do, let me get this out of the way, is I tend to say, well, I've already been there. It's much easier for me to just crop around it rather than going back. It depends on, you know, what you're doing, what you feel like doing. So you can just crop around it and there you go. That's it. This is an amazing piece of software and for the cost, you can't beat it. You really can't beat it. Let me just show you a couple other things. Let's put in a glossy high-tech object. I'm going to bring that in. It's going to come in big. So I'm going to make it smaller. I can move it around. I can add this if I want to. I can it's just it's I just love this program. The creator of it is a genius. And again, the the price is at a, a price point that anybody can afford. So I invite you to take a look at the logo design designer, um, logo creator. The link I'm going to put in underneath the video is an affiliate link because I am an affiliate. And you don't have to buy from my link, you can go right to them, but you don't pay any more no matter where you buy it from. So I'd appreciate you buying it from my link. Again, it's thirty-two dollars. If you have any questions, the owner of the product has put up a lot of um, tutorials on his YouTube channel. Just look up Logo Creator. There's a lot of little tips and tricks on how to do fancy stuff. But this, this was just a basic overview of how to do things. There's a lot more that you can do with this. I mean, you can make, you can make your images, I think it's 851 wide by 315 high. Those are Facebook banners. You can do them for headers for your websites. You can use them for almost anything. So I highly recommend you're taking a look at this so that you can look like a designer without actually being one too. Thank you for your time and I'll see you around the web.